Yeah. Oh, so much traction. Oh, there's actually like a little trail here. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh, it's just mud though. These studs helping mud. <laughs> Yo, I could push though. All right, all right. That's a little picnic table. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the test. Okay. <laughs> How about the studs help with big tree roots? Oh, should not have brought the backpack today. <laughs> Still some patches of snow, patches of ice. I can't even fit under this, I'm too tall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is great. <laughs> okay, I like his tires. Even though this isn't exactly their intended purpose, I can feel the tread biting in and I can just put the power down. Oh, to get over these roots and fallen branches. Where the heck? <laughs> is this for biking or walking? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yo, if I fall down, it's just ice, frozen like. <laughs> Oh no! This is probably for walking or for not being here at all. Good thing I wore the Iron Rangers today, which are notorious for being like the slipperiest boot on earth. Legitimately, these quote unquote work boots are more slippery than just standard Chuck Taylors. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm in too deep now, I gotta keep going. Oh, no, that's so slidey. Pedal's getting all muddy. That's all right. <laughs> oh, now this is track lacrosse. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is, this is walking territory. <laughs> oh no, that's so slidey. Yeah, uh, nope. I'm noping out of this one, guys. <laughs> it's so narrow. <laughs> and it just goes, uh, big ditches. We, we have crossed from reasonably dangerous to just dangerous. I swear, they make the bottom of these freaking Red Wing Iron Rangers out of banana peels. <laughs> it is impressive how slippery they are. Like, they might as well be skates at this point. You just slide on everything. Hey, it's Zach from the future, here to bring you a message from this video's sponsor, Wabi Cycles, because I am working on my Wabi special. So there's good news and bad news. The good news is that a lot of you guys are buying Wobbies, and that's fantastic because they're really great bikes and I'm sure you'll be super happy with them and have a ton of fun on them for potentially the rest of your life. Steel is real. And the good news is if you're looking for their top end Columbus Spirit, that's one of the lightest steels that money can buy, Wobby Lightning, they're still in stock and you can nab them up. Bad news is, I don't wanna say bad news, it makes it sound way more grave. The other news is, now, Wobby's other frame sets, uh, word on the street is that the Wobby Classics and Wobby Specials will be coming in around early April. And I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this, but they're, I've been working with Wobby for the past like 
couple years on this upcoming project and we have some very special specials coming up let's just say that wobby's got you covered with wheel sets from your favorite brands like wobby's own in-house wheel sets which are some of my favorite wheels i've ever ridden velocity h plus sun lace to phil wood or grand comp what have you any budget they've got you covered and, and other components from nitto sugino brooks thompson and more to help you build the fixie of your dreams Huh. Huh. Okay. Somebody walked her dog here. <laughs> truck bikes are for the track. Road bikes are for the road. Mountain bikes are for the mountain. Oh! <laughs> What's this way? This is just a railroad. What's oh, through here? Another fallen tree. I see a bicycle. That's looking a little too uh, underbrushy. <laughs> Sorry if I just keep chickening out, guys. But uh, this it's very thick out here. There's just a bicycle chilling. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Back on the bike. <laughs> Truck low cross. Ooh. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Tree branch just lanced me in the arm. Ooh, that's traction, all right. Snow on top of crunchy leaves on top of mud. No slippage. Is this somewhere I can go? There we go. Yeah, snow. Uh, <laughs> if you edit all these 10 second clips into one edit, it'll be sick. Oh. Is this even biking anymore? It's just hiking with my bike. That's a homeless camp. That's where the bicycle is from. Uh, I'm in their backyard. doing this that's a that's a workout <laughs> oh. should I ride on the lake I see a guy ice fishing over there but uh it's looking kind of thin right here that is real thin ice right there That's real beautiful. I'm not as brave or knowledgeable as that guy ice fishing over there to actually get on top of the ice. <laughs> pick, fixy pick. Uh. 
Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> no, Pete, you don't. Not in the lake or on the lake. Not sure the appropriate preposition on a melting ice lake. Man, Michigan is so pretty. It's nice having nature that's just like super nearby where you live. It's not a, ter a terribly common thing in California. Just everything is so developed. You don't, if you have a, if there's a lake, it's probably a private lake or a man-made lake. It's not like this, which is like a beautiful natural lake, freezes over. Go ice fishing in it like that guy over there. This is lovely. I didn't really realize how much I like nature until coming here. My GoPro battery is dying as GoPro batteries do. So uh, Fixie Famous shout outs to these people. You know who you are. <laughs> For helping to make these Fixier videos possible through support on Patreon. And if you want to be Fixie Famous yourself, be sure to check out the Patreon link in the description. Remember, life is short, don't make it shorter, so be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous. 